very good morning all of you so students today we will be continuing with the same uh, uh, topic that is how do organisms reproduce and we have started with a sexual reproduction so very quickly i just want to ask you people you have we have seen a sexual reproduction right so there are no um, sex uh, Uh, uh chromosomes or no cell sex uh, the cells are uh, involved only one especially in case of unicellular or multicellular organisms in which only one parent is involved for reproduction who will tell me what is reproduction to produce a uh, organism of our own kind is the uh, asexual reproduction right now we have already seen fission yes fission means breaking breaking into two parts or maybe many so we have seen example of amoeba this is amoeba in which we have seen what happens first the nucleus divides and then the cell divides into two yes so that is reproduction coming down we saw about lichmania lichmania is also a unicellular organism but it has got some orientation yes and why is this so because of this we cannot just divide or it cannot just reproduce in any of the sides or any of the ways it has to done in some particular orientation and what happens first this flagella it originates or it becomes double or it becomes two and then the nucleus divides and then the cell divides yes we have seen this clear so this was again fission now when one cell divides into two is called as binary fission like in case of amoeba or in case of lichmania where one cell is dividing into two that is called as binary fission keep this word in mind keep this term in mind i'll also show the same thing to you in uh, uh, your textbook so you can underline the highlighted part so that is binary fission by by means two binary fission okay now here you can see example of malarial parasite that is plasmodium all of you know plasmodium is the microorganism which spreads malaria or which causes malaria malaria is actually spread by the mosquito bite yes so this plasmodium it reproduces by fission but here one cell is multiplying into many so this is called as multiple fission is this clear to all of you binary and multiple now another method of reproduction asexual reproduction is fragmentation fragment from this word itself you can understand fragment means what fragment kya hota hai ek part ek tukda right so fragmentation simple multicellular organisms just break apart and each part grows separately so fragmentation means breaking up in case of spirogyra you would have seen in the water bodies the th thin green thread like structures they are spirogyras that is uh, you people say algae also right some people say algae so they are basically spirogyras so they have many fragments maybe later on uh, under microscope you will be able to see these threads you will see many fragments are there so if you break it into some pieces many pieces they will regenerate or they will grow they will reproduce they will make more cells so this type of reproduction is called as fragmentation is this clear is this fragmentation uh, part clear to you people only simple multicellular organisms can reproduce by fragmentation complex multicellular organisms need to use more complex ways of reproduction complex organisms have tissues organs and systems at definite positions in the body in such situations 
just breaking apart <clears throat> somewhere and growing into a full complex organism with all that is not possible so what happens in those cases let me give you one example it is about multicellular organisms right multicellular organism means an organism which has more cells so here spirogyra has more cells right if you remember amoeba has one cell leishmania has one cell yes spirogyra has more cells if you see uh, lizard lizard also has many cells right it has a complex body and organ yes yes or no it has complex body and organ sometimes if you have ever seen the tail of the lizard breaks can the tail grow complete lizard again in case of if you have heard the starfish starfish also when one of the arm it has five arms right one of the arm breaks it grows it grows an arm back it grows an arm back yes so these are different okay. examples here you can see these are like complex multicellular organisms here spirogyra is a very simple multicellular organism which does not need any support it one cell can survive and grow more cells and become complete one thread clear okay so let us move on after fragmentation i want to show you budding what happens in budding in this type of asexual reproduction the parent organism divides itself into two unequal parts you can see one is small and one is big how come how is it happening so what happens this is hydra hydra has now two parts this part is different and this part is different all are uh, they, these are not same so a tiny bump appears as a pa uh, on parent hydra so this is the tiny bump bulging out part it grows small tentacles if you know the tentacles these are called as tentacles parent hydra develops a bud the bud grows it is growing it has not yet detached it is still attached to the parent after it is grown that it can survive on its own it detaches or it breaks so here it is broken so budding can occur in both unicellular and multicellular so here hydra is an example of multicellular organism in case of unicellular organism budding you can see yeast is the example so yeast again it is a unicellular example it multiplies but first it reproduces as it reproduces by budding so in case of yeast also suppose this is yeast and this is the nucleus of yeast yes so in this case first a bud comes out here nucleus has not divided now now slowly after this the nucleus starts dividing the bud becomes bigger and the nucleus also starts dividing like this once the nucleus divides into two the two cells separate so the bud breaks off as completely okay. so we have seen how it happens in case of hydra see here what is happening as i said in case of yeast unicellular which is unicellular hydra it is multicellular sponge is also multicellular some worms like flat worms are multicellular yeast one cell first the bud has come out the bud has grown bigger as the bud has grown bigger the nucleus has started to divide once the nucleus divides into two the two cells separate so this is budding in yeast clear okay so we are done with today we have seen fission two types fragmentation and budding in the fission let me show you the book now here you can go through the book also students 8.2.1 fission asexual reproduction here you can go through the modes of reproduction used by single organisms 
so it is single organism means it will be asexual yes so you can uh, read this you can underline and highlight some uh, important examples if it is given so for multi unicellular organisms uh, let someone read for unicellular organisms cell division or fission leads to creation of new individuals many different patterns of fission have been observed many bacteria and protozoa simply split into two equal halves during cell division in organisms such as amoeba the splitting of the two cells during the division can take place in any plane yes in any plane in any ways the cell does not have any shape right now this para uh, i want uh, however some unicellular organisms show some what more organization of their bodies such, such as such as is seen in uh, leishmania which cause kalazar uh, which have kalazar a... is a disease now in exam if if they are giving you or if you, they are asking you any question something like this Uh, please explain the method of please explain the process of reproduction in uh, the organism which causes kalazar so you must know what kind of reproduction is that okay so go through underline these points very uh, carefully please continue kalazar which have a triplex structure at one at one end of the cell in such organisms binary fission occurs in a definite orientation in relation to these structures other other single celled organisms such as the malarial parasite plasmodium divide into many daughter cells simultaneously by multiple fission yeast so on the is, other hand yes this is example of multiple fission that is plasmodium which divides into many cells many daughter cells right then yeast on the other hand can put out small buds that separate and grow further so what was the reproduction in case of yeast always remember it will be budding budding is more appropriate please read fragmentation from here in multicellular organisms with relatively uh, with relatively simple body organization simple reproductive methods can still work spirogyra for example simply breaks up into smaller pieces upon maturation these pieces or fragments grow into new individuals can we work out on the work out the reason for this based on what we saw in the in activity 8.4 let us see what is given in activity just a minute in activity 8.4 as i have already said for specially for this now 10th standard go through all the activities not just this biology or uh, physics physics chemistry biology all the chapters whatever you are seeing there are activities go through them because questions are based on activities now what's given here collect water from the lake or pond that appears dark green and contains filamentous structures filamentous means thread like structures put one or two filaments on a slide put a drop of glycerin on these filaments and cover it with a cover slip observe the slide under the microscope can you identify different tissues in spirogyra filaments yes you will be able to do that uh who will continue this is not true for all multicellular organism they cannot simple we have seen are not simply a random collection of cell cells are organized as as tissue and tissue are organized into organs which mm -hmm. then have to be placed at def definite definite position definite position in the body such as in such a careful organized situation cell by cell division will be impractical in practical multicellular mm -hmm. organism therefore need to use more complex way of reproduction okay a basic strategy used in multicellular organisms is that different cell types perform different specialized functions following this general pattern reproduction in such organisms is also the function of a specific cell type how is reproduction to be achieved from single cell type 
if the organism itself consists of many cell types the answer is that there must be a single cell type in the organism that is capable of growing proliferating and making other cell types under the right circumstances proliferating means growing and uh, uh, performing different functions after this you can go through uh, the budding which is given here 8.2.4 example is given to you hydra and also you know about the yeast in your ppt this uh, reproduction or um, uh, reproduction of yeast by budding is given in this book it is not given so you can take you can understand from there okay students i hope clear to all of you okay students thank you very much if you like our videos do share them and subscribe to our channel if you want awesome quizzes write to us keep watching and keep learning with walnut